Larvesta is considered very, very, very rare in two 5 and 10 kilometer eggs. Can we get lucky? I'm Alex Gummy, KA Cheek Lane. Welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Yes, let's go! Ah, try to see. Back to back. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> so, this is my first egg after the event started. I was just hatching off some old eggs from an old batch before the event even started. I had to work later that day and the weather was really, really bad. It was raining a lot. So this two kilometer egg is the first egg that we're gonna hatch ever since the event. I can't guarantee it's gonna be a Larvesa because it's gonna be very rare, but we have at least eight more eggs left. Igglybuff, see, like it's not a Larvesta. Let me show you something real quick. Oh, I need to incubate those 5Ks. But look over here, this is a two kilometer egg and you can see that there are five eggs indicating that it's gonna be super rare for this Larvesta. Maybe it could be different for 5K. And no, it's not. Where is my, oh, there's a 10K. And that Larvesta is also rare. But I like it how Tortuga and Archin and Rockruff are considered common because you never know if those would be shiny. Now I was going to make a separate video by doing seven kilometer eggs and just trying to hatch see if I get a shiny Mantike, but I guess as soon as we get some Larvesta, we're gonna just evolve it right away and never hatch those eggs again and focus on the seven kilometer eggs. Also, before I forget, I should probably incubate these five kilometer eggs. And also this 10 kilometer egg is close to hatching. I actually have to go somewhere because I got to get a haircut and then I also have to run a couple errands. So while we run those errands, we might as well hatch some eggs. So while we're at it, subscribe to this channel for more great content and let me know in the comments below, were you lucky enough to get a Larvesta? Man, you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm just very tired, but we're still going to attempt to get a Larvesta because I want to complete the Unova decks today. I think I have about 175-ish rare candies. Unless I decide to do some more Genesec raids, which I'm going to have to do because I still need the shiny. Because um, that's also the best way to do that. And speaking of which, <laughs> all the way from Poland, we do get a Genesec raid invite. So I'm going to skip the, uh, the recording for the raid. And we're going to come back to see if we get a shiny Genesec shock drive. We're going to do this off camera. We're going to check for a shiny. And then we're going to hatch those eggs. Did we get any rare candies? Oh man, I don't think we did. Alrighty. Well, anyway, let's check to see if this Genesec can finally be shiny. This is like, what, how many rates? Oh, let's go! Shiny Genesec Shock Drive. Oh, now I really am debating if I should do any more rates for the rare candy. But you know what, dude? I'm giving it a pineapple berry. Wow, way to start the morning. I love it, man. I love it. I know the IVs are going to suck, but hey... We did get a shiny Genesect. I'm gonna nickname it Shock, and then I'm going to tag it to make a cheek glaze shiny. And this is a two star. See, it's two star. And we have a 10 kilometer egg that is about to hatch. Two things could happen. We can get a good Pokemon, it may be shiny, or we can get a Larvesta. Again, this is the second egg I'm hatching. I don't have a lot of expectations, but we'll have to see how it goes. And it's a rock rough, but it's not shiny. We also have completed a task and it gives us I think I hatched two eggs but for some reason it's not loading there we go Chansey not shiny though how are we on the other eggs Let's see so we have one two kilometer egg ready to hatch soon and then we just keep walking to get those like five kilometers out of the way I'm gonna spin another stop to get another egg and then let's just see how those other eggs go and then once we get a Larvesta, we're going to stop and just go straight to the 7 kilometer eggs to try to attempt to get a shiny Mantike. So, let's keep walking around Lampy and see what our progress is. Ooh, look at this. Your boy got a haircut. And also, we're going to get a Larvesta. That is not a Larvesta. Oh my gosh. I figured I needed to do a different method to hatch the eggs. I'm pulling back out the scooter again. And we actually have three eggs that are about to hatch. So we have three five kilometer eggs right over here. So this would be my four, fifth, and sixth hatch to attempt to get a Larvesta. Let's see what we get. We get a Linton. Can't be shiny. And the next one is another Linton. Really? Let's see. If this one's a Linton, I'll be upset. Rowlet. Okay, so we got a Lolan starters that time. Great. All right. So I think we have another 5K about to hatch right now. This is the Larvesta. 
That's a Bonsley. Crap. And ladies and gentlemen, we have two 10 kilometer eggs ready to hatch. My phone died halfway on my way home, and the scooter died like when I was about a block away. So we got these to get fully charged, and now we can be able to hatch these 10 kilometer eggs. Hopefully, we get something good in these 10 kilometer eggs. And it's a tyrant. Well, I mean, it can't be shiny anyway, but this one, Gumi, also cannot be shiny yet. Well, there goes that. 920 for the tyrant. And there goes the Gumi. And it is the morning after my scooter died and my phone died and my camera died. Everything died, man. Like, I, I guess I didn't charge them all the way. Yeah, last night we did manage to hatch a two kilometer egg and unfortunately it was a trap pinch. So let's see if we can get some better luck because we're about to hatch six five kilometer eggs. Alrighty, so if we don't get a Larvesta, we're just gonna have to do seven kilometer eggs just because it's like day three and I don't wanna miss anything. So let's go ahead and hatch these eggs. First one, Machop. Second one is another Machop, but hopefully we get something good. Moraney, which is like not good at all because it can't be shiny. And number four is a Tyro, which could be shiny. Number five, another Tyrogue, yet not a shiny. And seriously, this is the last one. It's a Chingling. Dang it. So we only have three seven kilometer eggs. I think I'm just gonna open up gifts and then we're just gonna walk around because I think my scooters had enough because I've been going around all morning. So yeah, once we get those seven kilometer eggs going, then we'll be able to check our progress. We just got back from walking around the neighborhood and we have eight out of nine seven kilometer eggs to hatch. What our objective is, is to try to get shiny man tyke. That's a timber. Hopefully these eggs are a little bit better than the two, five. Oh, we got a mime junior. So far that's two out of eight. Cara blast. We're not having any shinies. And we get another timber. I'm just realizing we haven't yet got a man tyke at all. Until now! No shot! <laughs> and then the shelmet. Yo, let's freaking go, dude! Oh my god. I don't care what else hatches. Mantike, not shiny, but that's fine. We got a shiny Mantike already. Yo, get out of here. That's you. You're not shiny. You're forgiven. Yo! We got a shiny Mantike! On the first batch! And it was one and done. Are you kidding me, dude? Appraise this. Okay, three star, I'll take it. Wow. Okay, so I think we're just gonna end that video right here. So we're gonna have to get Larvesta another time. And also, Cleavor Ray Day is going to be this weekend, so be sure to check that video out. Oh my gosh, there is no shot that I got a shiny man type on the first 7k batch. That was insane. Anyway, let me know if you got a shiny man type or anything good like shiny mom junior or whatever. Oh, this is how you end the video folks. That's all the time that we have. We'll see you next time. Peace out.